Hello, my name is Midio, and today I'm going to show you the Korg ER1 editor that I've made in Max for Live. Uh, this is a fully featured editor for the Korg ER1 uh, to control every single parameter that you've got on the synth. For example, the delay. You can also change the delay to be non-tempo synced for some nice comb filter business. Gotta love this machine. And you've also got each of the synth parts, synth 1, 2, 3 and 4. You've got your two inputs and you've got the four drum sounds. Uh, in addition to that you've got the ring modulation which you'll see light up on the drum machine. So all of these parameters are linked directly through MIDI to your drum machine. You've also got the accent, which is tremendously good on this drum machine. So let's just stop playback at the moment. We'll mess around with that kick drum sound. Let's just open the decay a bit. Yeah, so you can control every single feature using Ableton Live. Uh, instead of having to menu dive, you can change the waveform, the modulation type. Everything, 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 everything. Let's put that back down to ramp bit more of a kick drummy sound. Good. Okay, so the great thing about Ableton Live is you can also automate all of the all of the parameters. So if you change to the track view, you can switch here and if you press the A button, you get the automation lane come up. Now, every time you click on anything, that becomes the automatable parameter here. So let's press play again. That's our kick drum. There we go. Let's leave the kick drum as it is, and we'll do a bit of automation on the hi-hat. So let's go to the closed hat. I'll just turn the level up a bit so you can hear it. So I'm gonna click the pitch and do some slight automations to the pitch just to give it a bit of life. And then let's open the decay a bit more. Let's do the same to the open hi-hat. Let's get the pitch there and the open hi-hat. It's always really good to automate your hi-hats, makes a big difference, like very subtle, subtle changes, subtle changes is all you need, you don't need to go crazy. Good, so there we've got the closed hat and the open hat automated, feeling pretty groovy. Let's automate that delay. So when we get to the end of the bar, it goes a bit nuts. There we go. Okay, so let's stick it at that. So just raise it up, spin it back down again. Right, and so let's do the time. We'll do the time as well in a similar way, but this time we'll sort of make it spin Spin inwards for those Chemical Brothers delays. There we go. So as you can see, everything can be automated in the track. Everything's saved within your track. Um, so you've got the ER1 playing back all the time. Just going to mute the sort of musical elements. There we go. Yeah, so it's all automatable. It's all saved in your track in Ableton. And you can automate even things like the ring mod changing. Let's do that right at the end. And you'll notice it lighting up on the actual machine. Good, so that is the Korg ER1 editor for Max for Live, which I've made. 
Um, a couple of extra features is the support button, so you can email me anytime to ask questions or for feature ideas or for anything that you want to talk about relating to these editors or something else, don't mind. And you also have a button for the store, which means you can download the manual again or any of the install instructions or if you want to check out some of the other things that are on there. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'm Midiera, that was the Korg ER1 editor for Max for Live, and I'll see you again soon.